So how can Google Calendar help me be a better collaborator? Well, here's one way that it can help you do that. When you have your schedule up on Google Calendar, it can make that information available to other people that you're working with. And say you have a tutorial session scheduled and somebody gets sick. In Google Calendar, it's easy to look up another person's calendar and have it laid over the top of your own so that it's very easy to find out times that are available for rescheduling. And here's how you do it. On the left hand side where it says other calendars, there's a little box where you can enter a name. I've added my own calendar here because I'm in a training account right now. So I'm going to enter my calendar. I'm going to enter my name. I just started adding my name and here it is. So let me be clear here. What we're viewing are two different people's calendars here. In red is a fictitious student's calendar and that's what I created in this uh, training account that I'm using. And what's in blue is my actual work calendar here. And what we're able to see by comparing these two, what we're looking for are blank spaces available where we can reschedule something. And here we're not seeing anything because I'm busy. So we're going to go to the next week. And what we can see here is that there are lots of different places where there aren't overlaps. So here, for example, is a place where we could reschedule. So that's a way in which having your calendar available can make it really, really valuable in terms of being able to collaborate with each other.